Hey friends, let me give you status of my cargo adventure trailer, work trailer build. So got my aluminum load bars there used in tractor trailer vans. Uh, each one of those I believe is rated 3,500 pounds. I got f four of them across. So the idea is to build the platform up there, the maybe half inch uh, plywood uh, should suffice and fasten it on the top to these uh, bars so got e tracks there and i'll come back uh i'll put the more cedar planks covered the wheel well uh there's my kitchen there's my shower shower curtains gonna go up built the upper shelf so i got my counter stained and three coats of uh, polyurethane on there got shelves there i put decided to put a, a faceboard on the covering give a little more finish but uh, it doesn't need it but at little weight cedar is very light so it's fine i'll put one there and across uh, put that vertical uh, two by two up there to give the entire shelf uh, support otherwise there's nothing uh, i don't know what that low bearing is without it got center board going across there and two over there i don't think i need to add any more got cedar planks there uh this right here is fine pine wood two pieces added together to get the entire 36 inch across my ceiling mount uh tv uh raised lower unit my barn door is being built i'm waiting for the new bracket because this one's too short i need a wider one to go across Okay, my shower pan, I got to figure out the plumbing because the piece that came with it's not screwing in to the underside piping on it. So here's the big test for this build. These are linear tracks. It's like solid tubing stainless steel bar and it's got weight to it. I don't know how many pounds each one of these, but there'll be four. So I got this side mounted. I got that side mounted. I'll need to get the back side. And what's gonna happen is I'll probably use aluminum two inch bars that'll go across, tie into this linear rail and that linear rail all the way around. And what I'll be installing is a linear actuator. It's a motor, 12 volt, that will come on the underside and mount to the bar that I'll have going across okay on this um, I'm not too sure what this is called but this is like high precision ball bearing unit slides in the bar so the linear actuator uh, will be set underneath the horizontal bar that will go across and the linear actuator will push this up and lower it to that height to the upper height if you can uh, visualize that okay it's a very slow process i don't know how many minutes it's gonna take to raise and lower it, but picture it and it'll be stealthy it'll be stealthy so it'll go up and down i don't know any other faster way to do it but it'll be pretty cool why i designing this type because I have two more cycles right underneath that'll be sitting and I put the e-track mainly to lock it in place because god forbid if that linear actuator motor one of them or all of them fails I don't want them falling on my very pretty expensive uh bikes and nah uh I think both of them together were probably about the uh, 55 60 thousand bucks so I don't want that to happen so on four sides will be this system high precision going up and down i'll put another e-track on the bottom to have the low setting when the bikes are not in if uh, i want to just leave it out and have the bed lowered but i got two position the high position for storage right there with i don't know i may be able to squeeze in a nine inch uh tempur mattress up there or something lighter less expensive and i got this position which i measured my bike heights and with the bikes pulled up to the front the uh, windshields and handlebars should be out of the way and this will be hovering when the bed is lowered here if i want to use that right there as the first 
with the bikes in place to get into bed, okay, will be lowered to there and lock in place to the E track there. So it'll be pretty cool. Now it's just a matter of can I get it to work? And once it's locked in, there isn't much, there's gonna be no movement because it's gonna be one end to one end to the other locked in. And these gotta be level as God talk about precision. It's gotta be level or else it's gonna bind up possibly and ruin the linear actuator motor or it may not work as well. I think it will work. Uh, there's some give in the plywood, but I hate to put some uh, undue stress on the linear actuator uh, motor. Uh, that would not be good. So I'll probably have to tweak, tweak, um, tweak it several times, possibly, which means taking on and off the E track. The first one should be good. The other ones I'll need to lock in place, but. The idea is to lock in these uh, uh, bearing uh, linear actuated devices on each side, then mount the horizontal bar, and that should be fine. Now it's just tweaking the rest of the E track, making sure it's lined up uh, with the upper one so that I can lock it in place because there's going to be no swivel movement going this way. So I got to be right on top to bottom. So we'll see if we can uh, get it to work. I know I'll get it to work. It's just a matter of, uh, I don't want to take forever to do it, but this is something, phew, I got to get it. I bought two Max Air fans I got to install. Still got quite a bit to do, but it's getting there, man. This is uh, really, really getting there. So this is going to be pretty cool. Oh, because I couldn't find the frame, I taped everything I thought that was a frame it must be no that can't be vertical because where I got screwed is uh on the ceiling is uh fur strips and god I did several pilot holes thinking that I hit it I didn't hit it so I don't know what's going on where the vertical frame member is but I placed this here thinking that there was a frame bar so I could tap it in, but I'll have enough screws in the linear rail that it should be fine to hold the weight because it goes through the about three quarter inch uh, cedar board, then plywood, uh, quarter inch plywood on the wall. Then what I'm gonna do additionally is put a vertical bar on the bottom to sustain the weight of it just in case just in case to give it a little more reinforcement all right that's it on my build i hope all of you are doing great and those of you that uh, are friends just following my build i appreciate your support and enthusiasm uh greatly appreciate it uh, please give my youtube uh videos likes and subscribe thanks very much you guys are helping me be pumped up with Mojo, get this done. Cheers.